What's up, everybody? It's me, Rocky Harris, and we are lost in the jungle because we are on the red carpet for Dora the Explorer. Dora, lost in the city of gold. We're going to travel all through the jungle and talk to some of your favorite people from the show and the cast and crew. Stay tuned because the buzz is right here. But no, you're playing such an iconic character. Like I said to everybody on the carpet, Dora the Explorer was such a revolutionary show, and you're bringing such tradition of the Latinx community to life. What was it like being able to take part in that? It was amazing. I mean, um, uh, it's always a dream of an actor to be able to combine their lives and their work in the same kind of thing and I feel like Peru's not really recognized for all that it is except for when it comes to hippies who go to Machu Picchu so it's important to represent like this and my whole family's here like they're all Peruvian and I feel like they don't even know what's coming like they're gonna hear me speak and catch and be like what the fuck like I didn't know that she did that in the movie so I think it's gonna be wonderful I'm, I'm really excited absolutely and I know Dora the Explorer she's getting lost in the city of gold but if you could get lost in any fictional city where would you want to be lost Lost. I don't want to be lost in general. I'm like, I want to always have reception. Um, okay. But maybe in Bali or something. I don't know. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Well, fictional. Any like, if you could be lo in a city of gold, like. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, Avatar. You know where Avatar took place? Pandora. I would be. I want to be lost in Pandora. Yes. For sure. I love it. Well, thank For you sure. so much. Congratulations. Oh, good. How does it feel to be on the carpet? You represent a, a huge, very popular show. It feels hot. It feels very hot. I'm sweating everywhere. No, it feels amazing. I'm so happy to be here. This is such a, a special moment that I'll remember forever. Absolutely. And how does it feel? I mean, Dora the Explorer was a revolutionary show. It mm -hmm. really put the Latinx community, traditions, culture on the forefront of media. Yeah. How does it feel to be a part of that? It's such a special moment in time. I mean, this is, you know, it's 2019. Representation is so important. I mean, for, for little kids all around the world to be able to see people who look like them up on the big screen is so important. And it, it gives me such a warm, gooey feeling inside to, to be able to to give them that feeling. And it's it's so special and it's so important. Absolutely. And I'm asking everyone on the carpet, this is about Dora being lost in the city of gold, which uh -huh. I know is more traditional for the Latin community. Uh -huh. But if you could be in, lost in any fictional city, where would you want to be lost? Fictional city? Jeez. Maybe, um, maybe Rhyme City. I just saw Pokemon, and that was like, I mean, it's like a weird Japan London mix. I feel like Rhyme City would be pretty cool to be lost in. Okay. Yeah. That's dope. I love it. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Nice Congratulations. You. Thank you so much. Increíble, Santiago está increíble. Por fin, yo estoy haciendo una película que él puede ver. As a mother, Dora the Explorer, you're playing her mother in the film. What is it like knowing that you have to kind of let your kids go out and do their own thing? How does that feel for you? Uh, it's the first time that I played a mom while being a mom, and all of my instincts were turned on its head. I was like, ah, oh, why does she have a snake? Why is she in the jungle? I mean, I literally would not be a good Dora's mom in real life because I didn't let her do anything uh, but it's it was a it was a lot of fun to be a part of this project and to play Dora's mom and to see you see why Dora is the way she is when you meet her parents mm, absolutely Thank you. Know. So I want to know obviously like Dora the Explorer was such a revolutionary like broadcasting of the Latinx community their traditions I mean just a, a, a little part of it but now we're making it a live-action film how does it feel to be a part of a Latinx led uh, yeah I'm super proud to be honest um, I, you know, I, I didn't, I didn't think that this was ever going to be possible, and it's. Um, I think this generation, this time, it's a blessing just to be a part of it. It's a like, for me, like Black Panther just got nominated last year. I was like, yo, when's the last time that happened? I don't. I mean, I don't even know. Um, and and it, like everyone's being represented right now, and in which it's cool to be celebrated, but at the same time. Hopefully, like in in some time, it's just going to be normal. Yeah, it's going to. So it really is like great because now it's like just best picture, okay. not like not like best white picture. It's like best picture period. Absolutely. So it's a, it's a huge blessing, but but that means that that everyone's changing. That everyone's in on the the contribution of this. It's not. It's not just like the Latinos and the African Americans and the and the Asian. It's like. Everyone's changing, you know, like oh, like my manager and everybody. Like it's important to him, and he's a Caucasian guy. So I, I, I love that that it's happening right now, and that we get to be a part of it. Absolutely. And I was just talking, like, telling my camera person, like I want to be a part of any diversity that's going to be, you know, whatever's going to be on films representation. I love it. Right. So congratulations. Yeah. Seriously. And we got to go watch those movies. Yeah. Like I was uh, like Black Panther. Boom. Yeah. Creed. Boom. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And plus, they're great movies. Right. So. Exactly. And it was directed by the same guy, I think. See? Yeah. There we go. Tune that really showed the Latinx community traditions and cultures. What does it feel like being at the forefront of media, also putting that into live action? 
I, I feel really proud because, as you just said, it's a, Dora is an icon all around the world. Yes. And I'm glad because she's Latina, and I'm I, I'm always I'm tired that to to watch in every single Hollywood movie that they portray all Latinos as criminals, drug lords, narcos, or uh, best case scenario as, as the gardener or the cook. So right now that we have the chance to see. Uh, the first Latina superhero with a, so that could, could be a role model for role model for every single kid in the world because she's brave, she's smart, she, she's a great daughter. I feel really proud to be part of this project. Absolutely. Thank well, thank you. you so much. Thank you. <laughs> no problem. And then pronounce your name for me. I just want to make sure for the record. Corianka Kilcher. So how does it feel being a part of this film that obviously, I mean, Dora the Explorer was such a like powerful, revolutionary show that really brought the Latinx community culture tradition to the forefront of media. How does it feel being a part of that, making it come to life? Um, I think it's uh, so beautiful to celebrate um, the story of, you know, I grew up watching Dora and, you know, in this time where, especially in our industry, there is a push for diversity. It is so empowering and so beautiful to see a film like Dora where she's actually a positive role model for young kids to look up to. And also, you know, to me, Dora really represents, uh, you know, diversity but also embracing the things that make us unique as human beings and I think that's so important to embrace the things that make us different and um, celebrate those things and uh, so I'm just really honored and happy to be a part of it it was amazing filming in Australia okay. so uh, <laughs> I got to hold a koala for the first time in my life yeah. which is amazing so Absolutely. yeah and I was just literally just telling my camera person this literally came out when I was seven so when Dora was seven years old I got to experience this growing up as well so that's amazing I feel like so many of the kids in this next generation are like, who's Dora? And they don't really appreciate it the same way. Like, I'm excited to be here. So I want to know, this is all about being lost in the city of gold. If you could be lost in any city, and of what, what would you want to be lost in? You know, I think it would be actually that city because there's just so many tales about it. I'm actually half Quechua Huachipaita Indian from the jungles and highlands of South America. Okay. So, um, so it's actually something close to home for me. And uh, there's just such wonderful mystery and beauty. And it's nice to know that there's still things that have yet to be discovered and are still undiscovered in our world. So I, I, I would want to be there. Absolutely. I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Also, well, Actually, I know your your character's a little bit on the secret side. We don't know too much about them just yet, so I don't want to reveal anything. But tell us how you signed on, how they caught you and was like, you know what, I need you to be a part of the film. Um, honestly, uh, it was a blessing. I do not know who, why, or what, but something in the universe happened, and uh, you know, it all transpired for me to then like go to Australia. It was my first time there, and um, yeah, I, I it, it was just like a guessing, a blessing from the universe or or God. I have no clue, but yeah, it just happened. <laughs> well, okay, cause God, <laughs> absolutely. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. Yeah, Same. No, this is so exciting. Super exciting. I just heard yesterday that I was coming and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna be on Dora the Explorer! Absolutely. Yeah. So, how does it feel like? I know this is like one of the first times that we've seen the Latinx community on the forefront of media. How does it feel for you being a part of that community and seeing this all come to into fruition? I think it's amazing. I mean, I was so amazed when I first saw the trailer and I was like, Mama, look at it, it's a Latina! I'm there! And I was like, and she's like, yeah, it's a lead. And I think it's super important that we're definitely getting out there because there's not a lot of Latinx in general. Yes. And just all of us coming together, I think it's super awesome and definitely going to encourage us. Absolutely. I love it. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations on everything. Thank you. <laughs> yes. All that because you are the next wave yes. and you have a, a big shoes to fill. Yes, but when, when it comes to this carpet tonight, what brought you out? What makes you excited about the film? I grew up watching Dora, so this is a very big deal that Dora is now a live action movie. And Isabella, being a fellow Nick kid, I have to come and support her. She's doing an amazing job. I've seen clips and trailers and just all of the physicality and the whole shebang is just amazing. Absolutely. Yeah. So we have to talk about all of that. Like I said, big shoes to fill, but at the same time, I'm so excited to see this 
new cast, and you're working underneath Keenan, who's obviously like a veteran of the All That cast and crew. So what does that feel like, being a part of the new generation of All That? It's really an honor just to be able to walk in the same footsteps of such comedic legends like Keenan Thompson, Kel Mitchell. Keenan comes to set like all the time, and it's just amazing to be able to carry on the, le the legacy that they left when they were children. Yeah. Are we going to have any of the same things? Like, are we going to touch on nostalgic? Okay. Yes. What were some of your favorite All That like segments from the show that you are excited to bring to the table this time? Um, yes, answering your question, we will be bringing back some of the old sketches. A lot of the original cast members will be making appearances, like um, Good Burger comes back this season, Loud Librarian, um, jo Josh Server and Lori Beth Denberg come back. Uh, Keenan does make an appearance. You guys will see that this week. But um, I'm really excited for you guys to see all of our brand new sketches. We do a lot of impressions on the show. I do Beyonce. Um, yes, yes. Uh, Nathan Janik, who you guys will hopefully see later, he does Ariana Grande, but um, yeah, we do a lot of fun things. I'm super excited for you guys to see our hard work. Yeah. How does it feel being a part of this new wave of just actors in general? I mean, you've watched so many people growing up. What was it like seeing them, and how? Who was it actually that emu like you wanted to emulate growing up that you saw? Growing up, the first person that really inspired me to act was Zendaya, because that was somebody that I had seen on TV. That was really the first person that I saw on TV that looked like me and that really acted like me. So she was like a big influence on me, and I hope when I grow up just to emulate some of that good energy. Yeah. Thank you so much. Congratulations. I look forward to it. Thank you so much. Yes.